The romance of the eponymous Western operatic musical fascinates him. And the whirligig pace of the advertising world supplies him the motive force. Alec Pothamsey, hailed unanimously as the high priest of Indian hype, and also regarded by many as Bombay's answer to Andrew Lloyd Webber, straddles both these creative domains with an unbridled passion that keeps his creative juices flowing. The theatre impresario, in tandem with ace jazz musician and composer Louis Banks, is now hitting the proscenium again with his biggest and most ambitious production till date. You have no right to bend and sigh and flush your eyes at that boy. You have no right to tell me who my eyes flash to. Roshni, a three-hour long song, dance and special effects extravaganza boasts of digital sound and dream lighting. Special effects have been used before. It will be unfair for the first time. Uh, but I'm trying to do, I try to do with every place something that will increase the power of the language of theater. Whether it's through special effects, whether it's through lighting, whether it's through set design, whether it's through movement. Premiered in Bombay's Nehru Center this week, Roshni has Padamsi's wife, singer Sharon Prabhakar, playing the lead. The story is of a village girl's flight to freedom from the shackles of social bondage to a city which offers her hope and ultimately celebrity status. Roshni is a semi-autobiographical story with protagonists bearing shades of Sharon and Alec himself. I come from a village myself. Most people think, you know, I was born uh, in Bombay. I was, but my father came in a bullock cart to Bombay from Katiawar. I come from a tiny little village called Vagnagar. Now, Vagnagar, as you know, is Tiger, Tiger Village. And uh, so in that sense, in a way, I'm influenced by my ancestors. But more importantly, I think Sharon, Sharon inspired me. Because Sharon actually does come from a village and she's lived in a small town, Phagwada. In fact, you'll see in the musical, uh, this girl Roshni is running away from a village and we have deliberately put up a sign over there. It says, Phagwada Station. Unlike his Broadway adaptations, all 33 songs of Roshni were penned by Padamsi himself, inspired by the music of Louis Banks. I wrote the first song, then the second song, and he began to tinkle out on the keyboards. Then I was inspired by his music, I wrote another song and another. Altogether, I wrote 33 songs. And Louis has composed music for 33 songs. You wouldn't believe it. True music. It's real music. There is no speaking. It's all sung. It's like an opera. But a pop opera, or what some people call a popera. Padamsi claims that Roshni's scale of production and presentation will eclipse his earlier hits. With big corporate sponsors backing the production and the songs already released in the audio market, he is ensured that the show is a marketing back up, success. Okay. That was good work. Very good. Back up. Back up, back up. But whether all these back gimmicks and Roshni's razzle-dazzle will guarantee a long run of full houses is an answer that even an advertising pundit like Padamsi would like to wait and watch.